Hi guys, it's Jez from Windows Central here, and I just wanted to give you a quick look at Windows Maps for Xbox One, because why not? So yeah, here it is. So Windows Maps is Microsoft's mapping tool that's built into Windows 10 and Windows 10 Mobile. And thanks to the Universal Windows platform, it is now available on Xbox One. And it's a direct port of its PC version and it has all the same features. Now a lot of the apps on the Universal Windows platform right now just have sort of a, a mouse-like cursor that you control with the joystick. But the Maps app on Xbox One does have its own bespoke controls. Navigating around the map is mapped to the joysticks and it works in pretty much the same way as the map does in an open world video game actually funnily enough now i wrote in the article when we first reported this gone live that one of the coolest things about windows maps is the fact that it has these 3d maps which is quite cool to see running on a console i do think that xbox one is probably the first console in history that has its own mapping platform so this is microsoft's campus in seattle and it, as you can see it's been fully rendered in 3d over here it takes a little bit of time to pop in now one of the things to note about universal windows apps is that they don't have access to the full hardware on xbox one so don't expect to see games running on the universal windows platform on xbox one at least not for the time being anyway but you know it does work completely as you'd expect you know if you wanted to check out microsoft's campus you know just fire it up Maybe one of these buildings here is Phil Spencer's office. Who knows? But anyway, when it comes to navigating some of Windows Maps' more complicated controls, you have to tap the view button on your controller like so. And that brings up the user interface, which you, you would usually control using a mouse. Now, it does have all the same features that it does on PC. So you can save locations into your favorites, which does synchronize as well with your Microsoft account. It does let you set the camera to north as well. Obviously, the Xbox One doesn't have the proper hardware to like properly detect the compass direction. Also, the Xbox One doesn't have GPS, so it uses your ISP to get your location information, I would expect. Now, you can also switch between an aerial view or just a road view like so. And then we get a, a normal, you know, Ordnance Survey style map of Redmond campus. Now, also, you can search for locations, as you might expect. And also, as no surprise, the Y button acts as a global search key across all Universal Windows apps, I've noticed. So let's just search for New York. New York also has a detailed 3D map, if I remember correctly. Let's have a look at that. Take a little time to load in, but once it's done, we'll get a full 3D map of New York. Now you press the view key as well to go back and as you can see it's <laughs> lagging out a bit here the uh you as i mentioned earlier universal windows apps don't have access to the full power of the xbox one but still it's pretty cool to see regardless xbox one having its own mapping platform now you might be wondering why why would you want this on your console well the whole point of windows 10 is the mobility of the experience if you are sitting at your console and say for example you you want to you want to decide you want to go to a new restaurant say for example you can just pull up where you are and you can go down here to this information and click on here and then suddenly you'll get a list of restaurants in your nearby vicinity you really do have to think differently about the xbox one now that we have the universal windows platform no longer will you have to reach for your phone or reach for your laptop in order to perform these functions they will just work straight from your console you won't have to interrupt your game playing you'll just have to switch to another app and then pull it up do what you wanted to do and then boom straight back in your game no need for extra hardware and that's the whole point of the windows 10 platform that's the whole goal of uwp is this mobility of the experience and yeah and i suppose another reason is it's just showing what microsoft can do with uwp and showing developers that they should bring their apps to xbox one because now the xbox one basically is a pc for your television which is really cool and you know it's going to be a really exciting future who knows what apps are going to show up on the xbox one next there's that old joke about doing spreadsheets on microsoft excel on your xbox one and i do honestly think we are heading in that direction guys but yeah if you enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe and all that good stuff i've been jez corden from windows central you can follow me at twitter at jez corden and thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time